Hi hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we shall learn about classification of elements in the periodic table it is based on the classification the chemist which we which they made in the earlier stages and later how it is developed and the respective laws which they gave we are going to learn and also few properties of this elements the importance of this elements also we are going to discuss about mainly which will be useful for gpstr exam 2022 before moving to the video if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we related to gpstr exam 2022 and tet exams central tet mainly of maths and science concepts you will receive and moving to the concept now classification of elements classification is the method of arranging similar elements together and separating them from dissimilar elements so we we see that although every element is different from every other element there are some quite few similarities amongst them so based on those similarity and dissimilarity character elements are classified and this will make the study of elements easier okay this is the aim of classification of the elements when we look into the historical development of the periodic table early chemist they attempted to classify these elements based on this metals and non metals and later that is rejected because uh, few other um, elements also they behaved like few behave like metals and few behave like non metals and elements were divided only into two broad categories which do not help much in study of the elements hence later many chemists involved in this and finally we arrived at the modern periodic table that modern periodic table is given by the scientist mostly okay so we'll be learning about that first we look into few important laws which is mentioned in the syllabus so in between that we'll be explaining uh, the laws which they are rejected also so we'll go with the syllabus only okay first on moving to de brainer law of trades different scientists they try to classify this elements in similar properties and dissimilar properties and de brainer was the one who first attempted to classify the elements in 1870s okay so for that he chose some similar elements with similar properties and arranged them in their increasing order of their atomic weight for that he chose three elements trides okay group of three elements which he chose was named as trides so according to dobrainer's law of trades in a trade of elements having similar properties the atomic weight of the central atom was approximately equal to the arithmetic mean of the atomic weights of the other two elements for example he considered three elements lithium sodium sodium and potassium lithium atomic weight is 7 approximately sodium is 23 potassium is 39 so for lithium and potassium if we take the arithmetic mean add this to divide by Two, we got twenty-three as an answer. Approximately, this is equal to the atomic weight of the central element which is given. Okay, so this was the law given by Dobrynov. And in general, these elements are of alkali metals and they react with water and gives out hydrogen. And they have one valence electron in their outermost shell and they are unstable. Okay, and uh, it was. Um, rejected because it had only few elements could be classified based on this okay and certain trades which had uh, similar properties of same atomic masses like uh, iron cobalt nickel almost about 56 58 58 point like that so it was difficult to explain so this law was rejected okay next we shall move to newland's law of octaves okay this is a musical law we can understand in a easy way actually very easy law according to newland's law of octaves the elements when arranged in their increasing order of their atomic weights remember elements should be arranged in their increasing order of their atomic weights 
and the property of the eighth succeeding element was almost equal to the repetition of the first element okay so that was the first and the eighth element were found to have the similar properties okay such octaves if we consider from hydrogen lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen and next one is fluorine if you consider this first and the eighth one this two is found to be having similar properties like how we find in the musical note eighth note of the musical note and the first one will be the similar right like in the indian musical if you observe musical scale sa re ga ma pa da ni again comes sa right so like this this eighth one was almost similar and later this law was rejected because with the discovery of rare gases it was of a uh, ninth element and not the eighth having similar properties they could find out okay hence this was not considered next moving to mendeleev's periodic law he stated he gave a law for this periodic table that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic weights means this almost about the previous law which we learned newland's law only after some interval of time regular interval of time the properties of these elements were repeated okay but when we arrange the elements in their increasing order of their atomic weight remember this similar elements occur after regular interval of time okay this is mendeleev's periodic law even though mendeleev's uh, arrangement of this elements in a periodic table was almost similar one as we use today however mosley was the one who put the table in the present form okay in a proper way he showed that atomic number plays a major role not the atomic weight okay so atomic number shows about the fundamental property of an atom according to modern periodic law the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers means that when the elements are arranged in their increasing order of their atomic number some similar elements are repeated after regular interval of time okay and hence based on this a new periodic table that is long form of periodic table was constructed okay which we use today that is modern periodic table the long form of periodic table or the modern periodic table present which we use today contains 118 elements and these are the few important points we have listed out and later you can add up few more points also which are important you can glance already you might have learned just i have listed only few points here okay the elements they are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number and we know that there are seven rows in a periodic table these seven rows are called as periods usually this periods plays an important role in this periodic table okay so th there are seven rows or seven periods and 18 columns and these 18 columns are there is called as groups and when you move to this periods shortest period is the first one and short one is the second and the third ones they have eight elements only the shortest one contains hydrogen and helium only okay first period like this horizontal when we check it out and the long period is period 6 contains 32 elements and the seventh period is incomplete period okay this is also of course a long period and in a period each element has an atomic number one unit greater than the preceding element okay as atomic number goes on increasing and there is regular changes in properties of the element in a period as we move from left to right that means example there is transition from metallic to non metallic character across a period from left towards right okay we shall now move to periodic trends of modern periodic table periodic trends means some specific pattern like periodic trends are the specific pattern in the property of properties of chemical elements that are revealed in the periodic table 
of elements for example ionization energy how it changes in the periodic table electron affinity electronegativity atomic radius ionic radius metallic character etc we shall discuss about this periodic trends one by one now electronegativity electronegativity is a measure of the ability of an atom or molecule to attract pair of electrons in the context of a chemical bond so as we move from left to right of the periodic table atomic electronegativity increases it's because the nuclear charge increases okay next and moving to atomic radius the distance between the center of the nucleus of an atom to its outermost shell is known as atomic radius as we move from left to right of a periodic table atomic radius decreases and the reason is that as we move from left to right of the periodic table atomic number increases we know that and nuclear charge is also of course increases but the number of shells in the element remains the same therefore atomic radius decreases as we move from left to right of the periodic table valence electrons the number of electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom is called as valence electrons as we move from left to right of the periodic table number of valence electron increases okay on moving to the next one valency valency is the combining capacity of an atom so as we move from left to right of the periodic table valency of an element first increases and then decreases next if we check out with the metallic character of the element as we move from left to right of the periodic table metallic character of the element decreases whereas non metallic character of an element increases as we move from left to right of the periodic table about melting and boiling points as we move from top to bottom of the periodic table that is in the columns and metallic character the melting point of the metals decreases whereas melting point of the non metal increases as we move from top to bottom okay remember this point and about reactivity reactivity depends on their tendency to lose or gain the electron okay so um, since the metallic character decreases as we move from left to right of the periodic table reactivity decreases and then it increases so these are the important points in the trends the periodic trends next we shall glance about transition elements the elements whose atoms contain partially or incompletely filled d orbits are called as transition elements we can observe in the periodic table in between the s and p block this d block elements are present so transition means change okay so these transition elements are so named because their properties represent a transition or a change from highly reactive metals to the non metals characteristic property and in general as we look for this transition elements they are of good conductors of heat and electricity and all transition elements are metallic and they are of high melting point they have a variety of oxidation states they usually combine to form colored compounds and they are highly dense and hardness next inner transition metals chemical elements on the periodic table normally shown in two rows below all the other elements you would have observed okay. 
let us discuss about lanthanides first and then we'll move to the actinides lanthanides they have one valence electron in the 5d shell the elements share common properties with lanthanum and they are reactive especially in silver colored metals uses of lanthanides the compounds of lanthanides are used as catalyst in the production of petroleum and synthetic products lanthanides are also used in optical devices that is in the night vision goggles their oxides are used in ceramic industries to color the ceramics and glasses okay actually there are various uses i have listed only the important are few uses okay next actinides they are radioactive in nature all of them and highly electropositive in character and they are pyrophoric that means spontaneously ignite to air when it is exposed to air and especially they all are nuclear um radioactive in nature hence they are used in nuclear reactors especially nuclear weapons also and let's check out with few common properties of lanthanides and actinides both are highly electropositive very reactive in nature and both show magnetic properties both have prominent oxidation state okay so we have tried to cover up the important points from this classification of elements in the following classes we shall continue with few more chapters of chemistry and biology related to gpstr exam 2022 if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up thank you for watching thank you